Hello, uh, this is a prophecy for uh, Agnes, and uh, this is Matthew Robert Payne. Um, I just um, haven't got um, the video set up in a normal place, but uh, I was. Uh, this one caught me by surprise. Um, I, I, I neglected to see this when I was doing my other prophecies before, so uh, I haven't got it set up in a normal place. So behind me there uh, is Jesus on the wall. Uh, up there, up there, it's hard to, uh, yeah, so Jesus is overlooking us, and uh, so uh, I'll just pray uh, that uh, the Lord would bring a word, so dear Father, I pray that you'd give me a word for Agnes, one to bless her, encourage her, and inspire her, in Jesus' name, Amen. Um, I get a picture that I get quite often, um, I get a picture of um, a young girl, and she's, um, she's, walking through um, a, a field of flowers and uh, she's dancing and uh, she's joyful and um, she's um, picking uh, flowers uh, from flower to flower. She's going and uh, filling a basket up. Um, she goes home and she arranges all the flowers and wraps them in, um, in nice colourful paper and then she takes them um, and delivers them to households and gives them to uh, young mothers um, and older women and uh, all sorts of women and uh, they're really blessed. Um, that's a picture of uh, who you are. Uh, that's a picture of uh, what sort of person you are. You're a person uh, that's got plenty of joy and peace and happiness and uh, you spread that around like fairy dust. You, you uh, sprinkle a bit of joy and peace on everyone that you meet. You're, you're a really um, outgoing person. You're a person who's uh, really uh, a joy to be with. Um, I, from time to time I, I prophesy over someone who um, is a real demonstration of uh, who Jesus Christ is on earth and um, you've uh, got uh, really well developed fruit of uh, love, joy, peace, patience, self-control, the fruits of the spirit. They're, they're really uh, developed in your life. Uh, over the last um, a couple of years, uh, Jesus has uh, uh, and and the Father, um, the Godhead, have have been working on your self-control. Um, that was something that uh, was a little bit lacking, and uh, you weren't controlling uh, sometimes when people offended you. And uh, you know, for instance, people said things that were nasty on Facebook. For instance, if you're on Facebook, but if if in life uh, people were rude and terrible. Um, you had, um, you know, a struggle with your own thoughts and self-control. And um, over the last couple of years, the Lord has really refined your self-control and uh, given you more opportunities to react the right way and be the right way. And um, the Lord is uh, going to use this prophecy to tell you that you've really got that mastered now. And um, he's uh, going to, uh, a lot of the time um, when he works on something, he... Um, he uh, uh, puts uh, circumstances in our way um, and, and, and time and time again he causes something to happen uh, which will have to have us react in a certain fruit that he's ministering in. So he's put uh, lots of situations um, in front of you where you had to uh, practice self-control uh, to actually get through it. And um, he, he's uh, saying that uh, the trials and the upheavals and uh, the um, trouble with certain people um, is going to stop. You've been asking and wondering and praying uh, for, for uh, the troubles and the troubled water to stop. And uh, the Lord's saying it's stopping right now. Uh, you've learned the self-control. Um, you really have got a, a real good uh, ministry uh, gift uh, of, uh, of collection of fruit that uh, is really uh, powerful and useful. Um, I can see you. Um, I can see you sort of uh, providing pastoral support for people. Um, I don't know if you've been asked in your church to do that, but. Um, uh, you can show your pastor this uh, prophecy uh, that you've got this uh, such a well-rounded faith, such a strong faith, 
um, and uh, uh, an understanding of God and everything uh, that goes with it, um, that I feel that um, you've got such a good hold on, on the faith of God and the things and the principles of God, and you've got such a well-rounded fruit that um, you'd be very handy in um, pastoral visits and uh, visits to people in their homes uh, to encourage them in the faith. So um, if... Uh, if your pastor hasn't asked you to do that um, at the moment, um, perhaps you can show him this video and uh, this will give him an idea. I feel that um, you're called to um, um, evangelise. Um, I feel that uh, you've got a calling on your heart uh, to evangelise and uh, share the gospel with people and you do that really well. Um, I've got a book called uh, The Pro... Uh, I've got a book called Prophetic Evangelism Made Simple and uh, it's a book on how to um, approach strangers and uh, give them uh, prophetic words uh, of God and uh, plant seeds in people's lives for Christ and uh, direct people to Christ uh, through the prophetic word. I really uh, feel led. Um, I, I've written 10 books and I don't... Um, uh, always, uh, you know, if you went over a hundred of my prophecies, maybe only about ten, I would recommend a book. But I really um, feel led to recommend this book to you because um, I feel that it could really uh, move along really well uh, with your gift and, and your ability to spread joy and peace with people. If uh, you had the ability to prophesy, um, it would just add another mention uh, dimension and uh, flavour to who you are and you'd uh, be uh, more effective in um, ministering um, God's word to people and um, I pray that um, that uh, that um, that you be encouraged uh, to um, purchase that book and buy that book and then um, <coughs> in the back it's got a prayer for the gift of prophecy and um, it encourages uh, people to um, write to me and prophesy over me to practice and uh, I encourage you to do that, to read the book, to pray the prayer and uh, to write to me and prophesy. You may already uh, be prophesying um, with the gift of prophecy uh, but the book will encourage you to step out and start to uh, prophesy over people on the street and strangers on the street. Um, we're coming into a season, um, I'm not sure if you're in the States but um, trouble's going to happen in the States and we're coming into a season where people uh, are going to really be looking for answers and are going to be not in a good situation. So. Um, I feel that um, you're um, a person who uh, has got a desire for the deep things of God. You've got this uh, burning desire, you've got this real zeal about you uh, to pursue God and uh, in all his depths and all his facets. And uh, I, I feel that um, the Lord is going to release you into a season uh, starting now uh, where he starts to show you some uh, deep, uh, amazing um, uh, there's a verse that says, Call unto me, and um, I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things that thou knowest not. Um, I feel that verse is very applicable for this time, that uh, it, as you call on Jesus to uh, give you revelation, that uh, he'll start to speak to you, and speak to you through the scriptures, and speak to you uh, in person, and uh, lead you in, show you things that uh, you don't know, and he'll surprise you uh, with uh, his wisdom and his knowledge. And um, I... I um, I'd love to, uh, in a few months' time, for you to keep my email address and um, for you to write to me and confirm to me that, yes, you prophesied that I was going to see uh, the richness and uh, deep things of God and uh, they've started to flow through and they've started to operate in your life. So I just release um, the Holy Spirit and the seven spirits of God to uh, manifest in your life and show you and give you a revelation of wisdom uh, of things to come and, and things that are and things that have always existed. I pray um, those spirits would start to manifest in your life and uh, you would uh, be taken from glory to glory. Uh, in Jesus' name I ask. Amen. So, 
I pray that this has been helpful and uh, been a blessing to you and I hope uh, that uh, you can write to me and give me feedback. God bless.